Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for March 18th to 25th. I am Charlene Lazat. Let's dive into this week's reading. It's going to be a jam-packed week. I'm going to drop that seed right now. Let you all know we have the sun moving into Aries, ushering in spring equinox. We have the full moon in Libra welcoming. That's also an eclipse. So there we got the eclipse season starting. This is going to be a week of wrapping up the crap but also planting the seeds. Look, a lot of you may have been feeling really tired or lacking motivation or energy, especially the last like week or so. And that's totally okay. Did you just see that? That's totally okay if you were in this introspective space because what it was offering you was an opportunity for you to see into the future. Look, Pisces season, the end of the astrological year, gives us this time to really reflect, to really reassess, review, and Go up into the ether, go up into this transcendent space and time, you know, the ethereal realms and, des and, and design what we want. See the limitless potential, the limitless possibilities and go after our desires and know that it's capable for us. It's like a very dreamy like um, energy. What's really beautiful about this is that as we move into Aries season, you can take the, the dreams that you have and push them into the future. You can push them into this new astrological year. Woo, that's a lot of cards. That is a lot of cards here. We have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Perspective, none of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. And then let's get your astrology card before we dive into this beautiful reading. I also love that when I was sitting with the amulet, the amulet that I got for you was Venus. Venus is all about love sensuality luxury abundance harmony peace okay gemini energy here your fellow air sign mercurial energy interesting the third house oh if you've been wanting to publish a book start a youtube channel get into the public do writing do teaching do speaking this is the time also fyi when Jupiter moves into gemini that may also be an important time for you that's going to happen around the end of may don't quote me on it okay just as a heads up for you to um, for you to know that the, what's going on here. So let's start off with the beginning here. The High Priestess, your intuition is on point this week. You will be getting so much clarity. You will, if you listen and you silence the monkey mind, Aquarius, you will know exactly the path that you need to go in. Also, for those of you that have been wanting to start a YouTube channel, you've been maybe wanting to do tarot, spirituality, or whatever other cool gift that you have. This is the week to start it. There, I said it. This is the week to start it. High Priestess and the Star are the bookends of your reading. You listen to your intuition. You connect with your soul purpose. You follow that clarity. You will get the freedom, fulfillment, happiness, abundance, stardom that you seek. This is a big week for you. What's going to happen this week is you're going to start receiving all these downloads. And like logical, rational, logicifying Aquarius, you will try and make sense of it all. But here's the thing, source is saying we don't want you to make sense of it all because you don't need to make sense of it all. What you need to know is that you need to be in an understanding of receiving the downloads and being an observer in your life, watching the downloads come through, watching the information being delivered to you and receiving everything, bringing it in and just acknowledging it and seeing it and then letting it go. I actually just got this download as I was doing that. Uh, where in the Money Magnet workshop, where I teach you guys how to attract cash flow with ease into your life, in the um, releasing the money blocks section, I walk you through a meditation. It's about 15, 16 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, to understand where those limiting beliefs come from, where those blockages come from. And in that point of that reading or, or of that course, you get to uncover and be an observer in your life. And you get to literally shift and transform and mold it into who you are right now. And so I think there's something to be said about that. Maybe some of you have been wanting to attract cash flow with ease into your life. You're wanting to learn how to do that. That's in the description box below if that feels like it's aligned for you. Um, but what I'm seeing here is a moment of observation where you're like, holy cow, Shar. This is where the money block is, or this is where the limiting belief is, or this is where the, the, the inception of this story in my life that hasn't been serving me for my highest good. Like, I think some of you have been called to step into your soul purpose, your cosmic destiny, 
But then when you logicify it, you're like, I don't know how to make money doing this, Char. But there's always a way. There is always a way. I promise you that. I didn't know how I was going to make money. I'm like teaching spirituality on YouTube. What do you, how, what? That doesn't even make sense. And look, look at it now. I got my own home. I can provide for my child. I have the flexibility. I have the freedom. I have my dream life, right? Okay. Ten of swords, a page of swords here. An ending to a story, a narrative, external perceptions, external judgments of how people expected you to be. And this is where you can release it, release it. I was always told, go be a lawyer, go get an office job, go be a teacher. Look at, look at this person. They're a teacher. They have summers off, blah, 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 blah. Right. And I was like, none of this fits for me. I don't want to work for the government. I don't want to work a nine to five. I don't want to have to wake up every day and do the same thing over and over again. I love that. Some days I wake up and I record. Some days I wake up and I'm doing marketing. Some days I wake up and I'm doing email. Some days I wake up and I'm doing short form videos. Some days I wake up and I do crystal jewelry. Some days I wake up and I don't want to do anything, right? Like that is the beauty of having that flexibility, right? And I get to prioritize my son. And here you are understanding how all these people's stories, judgments, expectations, opinions of you have really been siphoning you, almost like choking you, suffocating you from being able to share your beautiful gift with the world. And what happens? What happens when you break free? Ace of Pentacles and the star. I love this for you, okay? Ace of Pentacles and the star. Raven's coming in. Hi, Mimi now. Are you going to come for Aquarius? Ace of Pentacles and the star. A new opportunity. A whole new world. The universe is like, baby, it's your oyster. It's your oyster. Whatever you want is yours. I'm telling you, I am telling you right now. You can manifest your dream life. And what a better time to begin doing that, taking the steps you're guided to take than during the spring equinox. Best time, best time. This is the time to do your vision boards. This is the time to get clear. New love, free yourself. I don't know. And then let's get one more here. Forgiving and learning. There you are. See? For a lot of you, this new love coming into your life, I think um, in the past you were like, I can't be with this person. It wouldn't work. I don't know how. Maybe it's age. Maybe it's jobs. Maybe it's religious. Fat. I don't know. It's like all these different things. But now you're in this new light or you're like, this is the way you love hermit, maybe with a Virgo, maybe you're polar opposites. Maybe you've done so much introspection, self-reflection. You're like, oh my God, I actually, I want to be with this person. Free yourself, king of cups. Yes. This is you taking control of your emotions, of your feelings, of your desires. Hi. An eight of swords, forgiving and learning. Yeah. No longer being trapped by your story. No longer feeling like this external narrative around all aspects of your life belongs to you. You are in control of your life. You decide where you're going to go, what you're going to do. It's your freedom. It's your clarity. It's your fulfillment. It's your revolution. Okay? Yeah. Be the rebel and go after this. Because this is what the universe is wanting to deliver, right? This is what the universe wants to give. Yeah? This is what the universe wants to give to you. All right. All right. I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. If you want to book a session with me, take any of my courses, follow me on Instagram, my newsletter, all that fun stuff. It's all in the description box below. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.